super excited to be able to cruise Royal Caribbean's Explorer of the Seas over the past five nights. And this is our final day, so we thought we would give you a ship tour. We're starting here on deck three. Now deck one is your medical facility and your boarding area. But deck three is where all the fun starts, so we thought we would start here. This is John and Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun. And right behind John, we have the Palace Theater. This is where you can see fun entertainment just about every night of your cruise. Now we're going to show you the rest of deck three, but in order to get there, we have to go up the stairs, through deck four, and back down to deck three. That's kind of how it works. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and check out deck four on the way, okay. right? We can do that. Hey, John's here too. <laughs> Why did I talk to, about myself in the third person? I don't know, we tend to do that. Okay, so we are now going up the stairs onto deck four. So it's gonna be a little weird because we do deck three, deck four, deck three. Giovanni's Table is one of the specialty diner, dining experiences here on board the Explorer, an Italian restaurant. So if you want something just a little bit extra, you can make a reservation here at Giovanni's Table. Right across from Giovanni's Table, we have this dinner bar. Of course, you can hang out there, watch TV, get something to drink. Live entertainment. Live entertainment. And now let's head this way. Yep, we're going to scoot through the... Uh casino and then emerge on the other side i would venture to say that this would be this is the ultimate cruise tour wouldn't you say the ultimate cruise tour i think so, so this is casino royale we're about to go through yeah here we go I think peruse, it sounds like it's something you do right. in, a, in an art That's what I was thinking. Gallery, like right? Peruse art. That's right. Yes. And there's, they have art auctions and things like that too. Okay. Or look at this, they have the last chance art sale going, going on. Now this is, like we said, this is the last day of our cruise. We always do these ship tours on the last day because then we've gotten acclimated. Because like everybody, I think you kind of feel lost when you first get on, no matter how much you've looked at maps and stuff like that. You kind of feel lost and now we feel at home. So now we can give the tour a little bit better. Yeah, here's some art. Okay, now we'll show you the rest of deck four and then we'll head back down to deck three and then head up to deck five since we had to do that weird, you know, crossover thing. So right this way. And then here on this end of deck four, we have the Sapphire dining room. This is one of your main dining rooms. The main dining room will be on deck three, four, and five. You'll just be assigned to one of those decks. So just take a look at your app to see where they have put you. We have been in the Sapphire Dining Room on deck three. Because we did my time dining, which, here's a here's a pro tip, dine at about 5.15. 6.15. I'm sorry, 6.15, and you don't have to wait very long at all. Uh, some of these lines get really long, especially with the reserved dining. Right, and we've been here at a pretty full capacity ship, and so some of the dining lines have been pretty long, but we've been coming every day between 6.15, 6.30 or so, and that's worked out really well for us. And by the way, while we're here on deck four. four, let's go outside and take a look. That is some pretty blue sea, isn't it? It is. We've had great, you know, weather all our cruise, which has been very nice because at some point there was a lot of rain predicted. We didn't end up getting much rain, so we've been really fortunate this time. Yep, we went to Labadee, Labadee uh, Haiti, Coco Cay, and Jamaica. Jamaica. All right, I think we should continue the tour. All People right. aren't here for the views, Amy. Okay. You're not? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> they should be. Okay, heading back down to deck three to show you the rest of that. This ship is very reminiscent of Mariner of the Seas, which we cruised on. It's our first cruise. That was our first, our first cruise. cruise. I loved it. Where we were most of the week for our, our main meals. 
This is the dining room that is included in your cruise fare. If you decide not to do the specialty restaurants like Giovanni's Table that we talked about earlier, this is where you can come and great, get great food, but include, include in your cruise fare. They do sometimes have options on the main dining menu that are extra, like I think some lobster uh, and uh, uh, what do you call it? Filet mignon. Yeah, mignon. Filet mignon. How do you say it? Filet mignon. How do you say it? Uh, steak. Oh, okay. Filet mignon. All right, right there you over go. here is Studio B. This is where they have ice skating. And, and it was food. insanely good. The show that we saw, right? Yes. So you can, they have times where you can go and actually ice skate yourself, but they also have an ice skating show. The one we saw was called Seasons or something like that. It was incredible. I'll, it was I'll put in a few, a few pics here for you to take a look at. It was amazing. Yes. Yeah, Super, super talented performers, and just the theming was so fun. The costumes were amazing. The sets were great. We loved that show. So definitely make sure you check out the ice show. You will not regret it. Okay, so this is deck three. There's also some, you know, where they do pictures here and stuff like that. Yeah, there's photographers all over the place, and this is where you can pick up your photos and choose your merch. So that's here too. But now we're gonna head up to deck five, since we kind of already looked at deck four. And then we will continue our tour from there. Are we going to go up the staircase? Sure. Going up the stairs now to deck five, you'll immediately see the Royal Promenade. This is so fun. My, my boys who are traveling with us, they say it reminds them of a shopping mall. It's this big open area. They have a cafe there where you can eat. They have lots of shops, lots of shopping. And it's a great place to people watch. So we're gonna head up and hit the Royal Promenade. Do you think people watch us? Oh, people watch us? Yeah, like we're walking by and they watch us and yeah. I don't know why we're not very interesting. I mean, you are, you're incredibly interesting, but not me. <laughs> so over there, we have another lounge area. And over here, guest services. Actually, there's not much of a line today. Shore excursions, stuff like that. Internet, if you need help with your internet there, you can do that there. And I always get tempted to buy one of these, one of these Invicta watches here. I like watches. Yes, we stop and look like almost every time we I, I do. Okay, so. This is the Royal Promenade. They have all these little places to sit and eat. You can listen to music a lot of times when you're here. They'll have live performers, that sort of thing. <laughs> hey, there's the man right there. Yeah, we are. Ship tour, ship tour. Who doesn't? Yeah, this is where you can get it. Over here, Crown and Kettle. So another place to get drinks or snacks. So if you get the drink package, and by drink package I mean soda package, <laughs> there's another type of drink package. But if you get the soda package, you will get a mug or a cup at the beginning, and then you can just come up to any of these little Coca-Cola machines and fill up whatever you want in there. So up here we have the cafe. This is a great place. John and I have eaten breakfast almost every morning. They have you know free snacks, some free pizza, lemonade, iced tea, not iced tea, lemonade, tea, coffee, water, pizza stuff like that. There's also an area that has ice cream and specialty coffee drinks at an additional charge. So you kind of have to ask, we, that's one of the things we kind of learn in the beginning, is you kind of have to ask which things are included in your cruise fare and which things are extra. So this one is kind of like the stuff towards the back on the, in the display case is the free stuff and then the stuff here in the front, you know, is the extra charge. It's the promenade is so cool and it's really what sets this ship apart from 
Uh, for example, we were just on the Nor Norwegian breakaway where their center area is a little more business-like, but here it's uh, more festive and fun and shopping and eating and that kind of thing. Yes, and then on this Oh, I haven't had to use that yet. But it also has, we've done some kind of fun games and entertainment here. Let's see, they did a family feud night yesterday. They had a dance competition. With there was a, there was a, a terrifying conga line that, that we almost got sucked, got sucked into. into it. And we ran away just in time, right? Yeah, and they and, and it was so close. They uh, they grabbed me. It was like a, like a shark grabbing you from underneath and pulling you under. Uh, but I was able Join to break away. <laughs> So anyway, a lot of that kind of fun stuff in here. So right now they have some bingo going on. Very, uh, very lucky, yes. Lucky bingo t-shirt right over there. So who wants a lucky bingo t-shirt? Okay, I have your receipts right over here. All of your receipts. So there's all sorts of fun stuff going on all the time. We're doing bingo right now. We're club here. We've not been in there. No, we haven't. Sounds like somewhere I want to go. Really? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to head up to deck six. We're currently on at the front of the ship. And Which, by the way, oh man, we are at the front of the ship in our room, are we not? We are at the front of the ship. We are on deck seven, the very front of the ship. Now, we ended up booking an ocean view, and we upgraded to an ultra spacious, spacious ocean view. We just bid on an upgrade, not really knowing what we were getting. And it cost us $140, I think, for the whole week for the upgrade. And boy, was it worth it. Not only did we get over 100 extra square feet, but we got this amazing view. So right at the very front of the ship. And wow, incredible. We were going into Lobbity yesterday, and we got such an amazing view. So, That's on deck seven. But we're in deck six now. We're on deck six now. Most of deck six is state rooms now. You can, you do have that little viewing area where you can see the promenade from deck six. That's really cool. We've done it from our deck where you can just sit out and kind of people watch. But there's also the next cruise office here. So if you're looking to book your next cruise, you can do it here. And this is something that we should probably do. We've never done it. Hey, leave some comments down below. Have you ever used the next cruise office on any cruise ship? to book your next cruise and save money. Would you say it's worth it or is it better just to wait and find some deals online later on? wanting to book your next cruise, that's the place to do it. And so many different options to choose from. Look at all those flyers. They have people waiting to talk, talk to you to help you out. Now we're gonna be heading up to deck seven, which is our deck. What do you think about an Alaskan cruise next? I would love to do an Alaskan cruise. Hey, leave some comments down below if you've done an Alaskan cruise. How is it different than a, a Caribbean cruise? We also wanna do a European cruise. Hey, leave some comments down below <laughs> if you've taken a, a European cruise. Okay, so now we're at the back of Deck 7. There is a library and card room here. So we're at the front of the ship. Our room. Our room is. So that's where we have our great views, you know, kind of pulling into port and stuff like that. But back here in the back, they've got this great library, and it's a pretty good size. So if you want to you know, play some checkers or read some books, you can do that here. Have you ever really wanted to play, just play checkers? How many of you? Is that, it's just not a craving I typically have, but... Maybe some people do. But look, here's these chairs are great. Now we'll actually go ahead and head up to deck eight. So there's not much more on deck seven than state rooms. Okay, on deck eight, in addition to a lot more state rooms, is this internet area. So if you need to come, you know, get online, you can do that here. So here we have the concierge lounge. This is something that uh, our gold level of uh, us into. status, yeah, it doesn't work for us. This is on deck nine. So in addition to more staterooms, we have that concierge lounge. 
Now deck 10 is only stateroom, so we're gonna kind of just skip right past that and hit deck 11 where tons of fun stuff is happening. We have hit deck 11. Windjammer is here. So are you hungry for breakfast? Are you hungry for lunch? Are you hungry for dinner? You can get that here at the Windjammer Marketplace and this is their buffet. And of course, it's closed right now. It's closed right now. We're doing this at a time. When it's closed, we're not quite at dinner time yet. But it's, it's lots huge. And lots of food here. So if you're not wanting to do the main dining room, if you're wanting something faster or, you know, just a lot more options or whatever, you can come here and do that. Now here is Chunk's Grill, another specialty dining restaurant. You know, steaks, right? Kind of chops makes you think of steaks, right? Oh yeah, it makes me think of that. And then right outside, something even better. How do you like that? Station, pool bar. This is the solarium, the adult only area. Hot tub, stuff like that. Lounge okay, they call this Peekaboo Bridge, and one of the cool things about this ship is you can come watch the captain. You know, driving, is that navigating the ship? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can see right down there, actually. I got a picture of him yesterday with the binoculars as we were heading out to sea. And by the way, over on the left-hand side is a place that we have not frequented. <laughs> the gym. The gym, it's pretty, it's very big. Lots and lots of treadmills overlooking the ocean, which is cool. Oh, it's raining, I, I feel rain. This is the first time I think it's raining. But look at how pretty that is. We actually saw a tornado at sea yesterday, oh, we didn't did, we? Right. There was another. Storm. There was a tornado, and uh, hey, over here, check check this out. There's another. There is another. Uh, no cruise ship. Okay. But yeah, this is a pretty good sized fitness center. Look at it all the way across. So if your thing is running on a treadmill, what better place to do it than over looking the ocean? And there are some cool state rooms right up here. Really, really Suites. Those are called, those are the panoramic view rooms. Ocean view room. Almost been on those and I didn't, I kind of wish I had. I kind of wish you had too. <laughs> but look, it's raining. You can see the raindrops. They're falling on my head. But hey, if you are interested in seeing a video of our ultra spacious ocean view cabin, that has the great views at the front of the ship, be sure to check that out. Now there's a sign there that says no video, so I can't show a video. Oh, you can't, okay. But I did, uh, I, I, I think I got a picture or two. You can put a picture in. So that's, it's very cool though, to be able to watch the captain, you know, and see, see all of the gadgets and stuff that I have no idea what it does. And I, I saw some gizmos too. Some gizmos and gadgets, but the captain knows what they do, and that's what's important. Amy, what? at Labadee, I lost my wedding ring. Just a black silicone. It was like a, a standby backup ring. Yeah, we, we have your actual gold ring safely at home. But it's not because I don't love you. It was an accident. Sure. No, you have. You came in like a eight pack with all different colors. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I get, They're you can, you can replaceable. Put a gray one on at home. You have, you have your black. Look at this view. It's awesome. Are you gonna? Probably not, but it's very nice. It almost makes me want to. Wow. <laughs> okay, now we'll be heading up to the Look at, they have all these cool uh, sculptures hanging everywhere. Okay, this is the spa entrance from deck 12. 
we also found there's a staircase going up from the fitness center. Back at the solarium, this is the adult area. Up here, lots of lounging around spots. This is, let's see, so we went up to deck 12, so would that be, this be 13? Yes, yeah, so this, this is a part of deck 13, but then it goes up a lot higher on the other side of the ship. Okay, well let's walk around the corner. empty up here if you want to get away from everybody. Seems like they store a lot of their lounge chairs up here, but they've got a lot of chairs just for you to hang out. And there's not a lot of people up here, so if you're feeling overwhelmed with people everywhere, come up here. Wow, look at that, Amy. There's a jogging track. Yep. Does that tempt you also? That does not tempt you. It doesn't tempt you? Okay. You can also go up there if you want to. They have all these little kind of hidden places where you can just get away and relax. And look at the ocean. And Check yeah. this out over here, Amy. You just gotta look at it. It's that ship again, but he's right in the sun. What a shot. How about if I zoom in with my ultra mega zoom? So over here is a pool bar, or actually maybe not a pool bar, just a bar, because there's no pool right there. But then, got the pool down there. Up here on deck 12 is Adventure Ocean. This is the program for the kids. So they have all these little areas here where you can check them in and they can play. Now we have spent a lot of time over here, have we not, Amy? Yes, this is the, the outdoor area where you can play ping pong and stuff like that. It's a great, comfortable sitting area, and John loves ping pong, so he's been here quite a bit. It's it's not it's not only that I love it, it's that I'm you dominate? I dominate, and I gotta I gotta bring to the people what they want. And then right around the corner is Johnny Rocket. I've been quite tempted by the milkshakes. Or, I guess you would call them malts. And then of course they have burgers, which is kind of their thing. Right next to it is the arcade, and it's a really cool arcade, pretty good size. I'm also world-class at Gallagher. Are ya? Yep. Okay, we're headed to deck 14. There's a rock climbing wall, a basketball court, miniature golf, let's check it out. Don't forget the flow rider. Oh yes, the cool flow rider, how could I forget? You didn't win. I think the word is dominated. That's the Japanese restaurant, another specialty dining option. And then behind me is the Viking Crown Lounge. And deck 15 is the 
chapel. So we've seen that they've had services here, memorials, stuff like that. And that is the top of the ship. I could get up in there and preach, couldn't I? You could. I could preach Jesus up in there. Joy unspeakable, full of glory, and peace that passes all understanding, and the fire of the Holy Spirit invading your life and setting captives free. You like that? Yeah. I didn't even need the chapel. enjoy this tour of Explorer of the Seas. We hope that it was helpful if you are thinking of booking on Royal Caribbean. Boy, we had a great time and we really enjoyed sharing with this, this with you. Thank you for following along. Safe travels, everyone.